with some actual impersonations, we have Kevin Lee doing impersonations. Oh, delightful! to do 18 impersonations total from movies and TV shows of the like, all on the stage. If only I can bring the other characters with me, so I gotta do it myself. Let me start by taking you people to a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, when Star Wars used to be the cult classic of science fiction. We all know the characters, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Princess Leia, but most notably, Chewbacca. <laughs> Drifting along in space are the, uh, the Thermians from the movie Galaxy Quest, a very famous parody on Star Trek. They're very happy all the time. They sound very robotic. We are the last of our kind. You are our only hope. We need your help. <laughs> Away from science fiction, let's go soaring on magical brooms to the delightful castle of Hogwarts. But be sure, be careful, do not fly into the notorious potions master, Severus Snape. If anyone gives us any knowledge of Mr. Portal's whereabouts tonight, I am. of the Matrix, governed by the agents, Agent Smith specifically. Mr. Anderson, you got my badge? I will enjoy watching you die, Mr. Anderson. You hear that, Mr. Anderson? That is the sound of inevitability. <laughs> that is the sound of your death, Mr. Anderson. Forget that. Let's go sailing with the Pirates of the Caribbean. Fight off against the notorious Davy Jones, Master of the Seas. You have a debt to pay. Jack Sparrow, you've been captain of the Black Bar for 13 years. That was our agreement. Technically, I was only captain for two years before I was viciously moving on. Then you were a poor captain, but a captain nonetheless. Have you not introduced yourself all these years as Captain Jack Sparrow? <laughs> and finally, introduce a little anarchy. Upset the established order, and everything becomes chaos. We are tonight's entertainment. I only have one question. Where is Harvey Dent? You know where he is? You know who he is? You know where I can find Harvey? I need to talk to him about something, just a bit little, huh? No. You know, I'll settle for his loved ones. You know, you remind I hate my father. Why, hello, beautiful. <laughs> you must be our sweet You are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't a scar 
So I had a wife. She was beautiful, like you. I worry too much. Who tells me I ought to smile more? Who gambles and gets in deep with the sharks? One day they carve her face. Now we don't have money for surgeries. She can't take it. I just wanted to see her smile again. I just wanted to know that I don't care about the stars. So I stick a razor in my mouth and do this myself. And you know what? She can't stand the sight of me. Jack Black. 
I respect him too much. I'm doing the peacock, Lord Shen. He hates pandas a lot. Because if I go, Lord Shen, I saw a panda. <coughs> Find this panda and bring him to me. Greetings, panda. At last we meet. We meet at last. Yes, that's it. Greetings, panda. We meet at last. All right. Now, let's lean away from the fun animation stuff. Let's go into adults with uh, Family Guy, South Park, you know. Most notably, The Simpsons. I'm gonna bring the Simpsons family down here. Homer, you there? Yes. Good job. <laughs> Homer, what's your full name? Homer J. Simpson. <laughs> the J stands for J. Merge, merge. Those people came to our house with torches. Torches! That word you all knew! It was It was during Excess Hollywood. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 